Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users on a technique for resolving an issue where our default object is green. So to illustrate this, I have a simple scene set up here. Now, uh, first let's discuss why would our object turn green when we're in a shaded mode like we are here. Well, when we see our shaded objects are green in the viewport, that's Maya's way of telling us that the material that it had applied to it is no longer applied. Now, a common cause of this is if the shader gets deleted while it's still applied to the object. So I have this blend here that's actually applied to this cylinder. So if I come into the hypershade and just hit delete and delete that, we can see that my object is now green here in the viewport. Now, by default, when we create a new scene, Maya is going to apply this Lambert 1 shader to any new object. So we'll get this, uh, the actual object will be kind of this gray color and shouldn't be this green color. But if we have a plugin that's changing that behavior, the one thing we can do is to add a little code to our user setup mail file that runs every time we launch Maya. So let's take a look at how we can do that. I'm going to start by opening up my documents folder here. O open up my Maya folder and scripts folder. Now, if we don't have a user setup.mel file in here, we can simply create one. So I'll right click, go to new, let's create a new text document and call this user setup.mel. Yes, we want to change the file extension. All right, so we have our user setup mail file. So let's open this up in a text editor. So I'll just right click and open this up with a notepad here. And we need to actually create our script. So the script for this will be eval deferred. So we'll type that in. And we need to make sure that uh, the D is capitalized as this is case sensitive. We'll do an open parenthesis, open bracket, open a curly bracket, slash, and then we'll set attribute for the Lambert one color. And then we need to, to determine what color we want to set it to. Now, for the sake of this example, I'm going to change my default Lambert color to an orange color just so we can see that the script is working. So if I set this to uh, one, that'll be one a uh, full red maybe 0 0.4 and 0. So that's the red color, the green color, and the blue color. And now actually, uh, before we do semicolon, we'll want to actually close our curly brackets, our uh, quote, quotation marks, as well as our parentheses, and then do our semicolon. So before I actually save this, if I hop back into Maya here, and if I create a new scene, we can see that my default Lambert is set to the uh, default gray here, which is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5 in RGB. So once I close out of Maya, save my user setup file, and then reopen Maya, when I create a new scene, this should set to the color that I had determined in that file. So I'll come in here. Let's go ahead and close out of Maya wait for it to close and once it's closed I'll save this user setup .mel file I can close out of that we have that file in here now so now let's come in and relaunch Maya okay so now Maya is uh, reloaded here for us now let's hop into our hypershade and we should see that our Lambert 1 is an orange color but as we can see it's not so let's come in and double check our script here so I'll just open up my user mail script. And as we can see, actually, I forgot to add something on the end here. I forgot to end my slash as well as a semicolon to end this line. So I will do a semicolon slash just to end that. All right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and save this. And let's try this again where we come back into Maya, uh, close out of Maya, and then relaunch and uh, test that user setup file. So we'll give Maya a second to load up here. All right, now that's loaded, let's hop into our Hypershade. And as we can see, we have our Lambert 1 is set to this color. So if we check the color, we have one red, 
0.4 in the green and 0 in the blue, which is exactly what we set up in that user setup.mel file. So now that we know that the script works, what do we need to change in order to set this to the default gray instead of this orange? Well, the default gray in Maya is actually 0.5 red, 0.5 green, and 0.5 blue, uh, giving this perfect kind of half gray color here. So we'll want to change that in our user setup.mel file. So I'll come in and we'll close out of Maya since we know that we're going to have to do that. Um, the user setup is initiated upon launch, so we'll need to close out of Maya anyway. So let's open up our user setup and change this color to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5. Go ahead and save this, close out of our user setup file, and let's launch Maya one last time. And give Maya a second to load up here. And once it's loaded, if we hop into our Hypershade, we should see that our Lambert 1 is once again back to the default gray. So if once it loads up, here we go, we can see it's back to the default gray here of 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5. So that's just a quick look at one technique that we can use to change the default Lambert's color by adjusting the user setup Mel script. Now, if you want to learn some more tips on Mel scripting, check out the Introduction to Mel course.